I don't know. It's just totally different from COD. Yeah, it is. It really is. Did you play Fortnite or any of those Johns either, or nah? no? I, no, I never played Fortnite. Really. Dude, Fortnite. I just re-downloaded it and got some of the Marvel stuff. It's pretty fun, man. It's pretty fun. It's pretty wild. All the shit I, you can do. I was fishing. I tried it with the um when the Mando skin came out and 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 Kratos from God of War, and I was like, yeah. Dude, the building it. is a little whack. That's the only thing is like. And it is pretty sweaty. Like those kids that have been playing that, like forever. Uh, we've been live for forty seconds, but say what? <laughs> oh, good thing I uh, didn't uh, say all those crappy things that I was going to say about all of the people that watch us. You know what I mean? I know, so, right? This yeah, is good. good. Yeah, I was about um, to expose you. Exposed. exposed. Josh exposed. Canceled. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Uh, welcome to another Nerd Theory. Tonight, we're going to talk about visions, uh, and then we're going to segue probably into a whole bunch of other stuff that we don't normally intend to do, but it happens anyway. So, yeah. Welcome to the stream. Sit back, relax, chill. Josh, what do you got for us? Bay so, Bay. let's talk about visions, and we all saw the, the preview thing that happened over the weekend. I think people are pretty hyped about it, and I wanted to just go over some of the different studios and what they've done before and just kind of venture into what might be really, really fun about the series. But I'll also say that to start with, I did find it pretty surprising that not canon at all. So that's pretty interesting. Definitely let us know in chat what you guys think about that. Not canon. I know this is a thing. Star Wars fans, for some people, they're like, no, it must be canon. Other people are like, thank goodness it's not canon. And they can truly, truly have fun. What do you think about the not canon thing, by the way? What do you mean not canon thing? Like, like that, none of the, uh, that none of the shows are going to be canon. Really? Yeah, yeah. Here, let me pull that up actually first to show you. So, hmm. yeah, right here, Visions does not appear to be canon. So it says right here, Star Wars Vision storytelling didn't have to, oh geez, didn't have to fit into the timeline. In developing the series, Lucasfilm made the decision to let creators tell the stories they wanted to tell, whether they featured established or original characters. Without a need to tie into the larger chronology, we really wanted to give these characters a or these creators, a wide creative berth to explore all the imaginative po potential of Star Wars Galaxy through the unique lens of anime, uh, James Waugh said. We realized we wanted these to be as authentic as possible to the studios and to the creators who are making them. That's a, like anime is very respectful to the creative visions and all that, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. Made through their unique process in a medium they're such experts at. So the idea was this is their vision riffing off of all the elements of the star wars galaxy that inspired them hopefully to make a really incredible anthology series unlike anything we've seen before in star wars so not canon what do you make of that my friend yeah it, it makes no difference to me honestly um it just means that they have more creative freedom to do what they want so yeah. it's a good thing it's great i'm happy I it's funny because my I'm usually a canon junkie. You know what I mean? Like I just I need it to all fit together and I get upset. Like I got a, a more upset than you did when they changed stuff in Bad Batch with Kanan, right? Uh when he was younger, Caleb Dune. But surprisingly, I think the anime thing, it just makes perfect sense to allow those creators to just go for it, man, and expand. Because what I'm hoping ultimately is that there's some stuff in here that's so good that it inspires somebody that's going to touch the canon again later in like a live action or another animated show. Like the whole idea of artists inspiring artists and anime and manga inspiring like comic book artists in the 90s and vice versa and this sort of art feeding off each other is really, really cool. Um, so here we have the list of all of the different projects. And so I peeked down here because somebody on Reddit was asking about which animes they're most excited for. And so this is kind of interesting. He says, this guy says that Studio Trigger are the ones to look out for as they've made a lot of anime hits, such as Kill la Kill and Pro Mary. I've never heard of these. I mean, I think I've heard of Kill la Kill, uh, but maybe some people in chat know about that. But Studio Trigger is doing the twins and the elder and the art on that kind of stuff looks really really sick we'll get into mm. that in just a second but uh down here he also says he's excited for the ninth jedi as the studio behind it is the one that did ghost in the shell which is widely considered to be one of the best anime films of all time the og ghost in the shell film is amazing if you've never seen it must never watch it. oh With, it's uh, so good bro my future wife scarlet 
No, 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 no. That's the the live action one. No, the actual like first OG anime movie of Ghost oh, in the Shell. Seen, yeah. Oh, it's yeah, so I'm, great, man! It's great. It's great. And even the the voice cast, the like the American dub is great. You know what I mean? So I would definitely recommend checking it out. And that director that's doing that one, the Ninth Jedi, is also doing the Lord of the Rings anime film. Did you hear about this? The, no. The, so they're doing an anime film in the Lord of the Rings universe that's all about Helm's Deep and establishing Helm's Deep in like Roham before all that craziness happens in uh, the trilogy. And that was a huge deal. Like anime fans were like, whoa, like this is wild. Like Lord of the Rings is a crazy big IP, just like Star Wars. So yeah. the, that director's doing that. Uh, so Ninth Jedi is definitely one to look out for, according to that guy, uh, as well as the studio trigger stuff. So if I pull back over here. Yeah, I, I didn't know what to think before we got the trailer. And then once we got it, I was like, wow, this is uh, this is going to be really cool. It looks really cool. I mean, I'm a big anime fan. So you combine that with Star Wars. And if it's done right, then absolutely, man. Oh, heck yeah. Dude, check this out. So this is from the twins, which is that Trigger Visions, one of the ones that they said was pretty hot. And yeah. uh, I mean, yo, look, homie's riding on the X-Wing, like with the lightsaber. <laughs> Um, and it, the, they were pointing out that it looks as though it's taking some of the craziness from the TFA. Remember these shots from the TFA art book? Yeah. Where he's like cutting up the, the, the bottom of the thing. Yeah. Dude. Uh, something like that. I mean, just, I'm excited. Like, I, I know some people might say like the art style is a little bit too, like different from Star Wars with, you know, kind of the more cartoony stuff and the, the, the colors with the blues and the, the purples. But I love this kind of stuff when it comes to anime. I'm just going to fall like visually in love with just the fluidity and the color spectacle. I mean, like, dude, look at this. This this looks freaking sick, dude. Like to me, this is this is exactly what I'm here for, for. Uh, for the Star Wars anime. And me then too. let me see if I can pull up here. I never saw those, man. Were those in the trailer? So I don't they're know if so they're fast. I, didn't... I, I think they might be from there was a trailer, but also live streams that were going on. So like, I think this bit right here. Yeah, so this is the bit. I think this was in the trailer. Yeah. Or maybe not. Here, let me uh... possible. There was so many things at once. Yeah, I think those. Uh... I don't know. Here, we'll go through it again. This is here. I'll put it at a. Oh, I can't actually lower the speed, but I mean, like, just super cool visuals. I love the design. This character, by the way, looks so much cooler in these like shots. Freaking Dragon Ball Z, man. Yeah, man. It's got like some serious Dragon Balls. Like, in, I'm getting some uh, like Han Solo esque Cowboy oh, yeah. Bebop type vibes. You know what I mean? So Sarah makes a good point. Yeah, there were these uh, figures, I think, by Bandai. And they were these Star Wars figures with with samurai. Oh, clothing, I collect those bro. armor. I, oh. I love. I collect those. I love those. I have Jango. I have Boba. I've got uh, Darth Vader. I've got Darth Maul. Those figures. I I love Japanese stuff, bro. You know what I mean. So yeah, that, Me I love those figures, man. But just super cool design. Like, look at the Inquisitor. Maybe you know, like just awesome. Just really, really cool. Love the design. So this is one of the ones that people are saying to really watch out for. Trigger is that studio. You think it's going to be about Luke and Leia? So it's probably a riff on the twins thing because that's a very thematic thing to Star Wars, right? So it's probably like, I would say it's probably its own version of it, right? But, you know, a, a lot of a lot of similarities to Luke and Leia. I mean, there's mythological stories of twins in almost every ancient uh, culture. So this is some right. of the stuff that George pulled from when he was doing it. Right. Here, let's are see. We if, in uh, today? What are we feeling? Chat, what are we feeling? Are we zooming in today or are we going just regular zoomed out? Yeah, what are you guys feeling? And I know before anybody says anything in chat, I know I've got bananas on my shirt. It's it's I, I thought it was an appealing get up. You look great. <laughs> thanks, thanks, bro. Um but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to show everybody was just that kind of stuff and talk about the different projects that are on here. This is uh, what do you think about this little dude? Have you seen this guy? He just looks like a droid. Yeah, he's like an Astro Boy kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Pretty fun. 
pretty fun. I think that's maybe he's like a different species. He's like some sort of a Jedi or something. Yeah, something. Uh, you know, they'll they'll play around with it. They'll have their they'll have their fun. Um, twins is about twins of the dark side. It's in the trailer. Okay, rock and roll. Let's see if there's anything that people are saying down here. Uh, so they're both in the dark side. Is that what people are saying? Uh, that, yeah, that's what one person said. Hmm. It was Scott. Interesting. Twins well, of the dark side. Yeah. Well, one of them okay. seems like their dark side for sure. Like if you see, they're fighting. You know what I mean? She's she's the dark side one, and it looks like he's maybe on the light. Maybe he turns. Maybe it's going to be like uh, Arcan and um, what was his brother's name? Hmm, I'm not sure. But this is wild. Are they fighting in space right here? This is crazy. Like the visuals on that look really. really yeah, cool. dude, I think it looks good. I think this show is going to be pretty jam packed with awesome content, and I'm kind of upset that it's just like different episodes that have nothing to do with each other, though, because I feel like. It's just going to, and it all gets released at the same time. I mean, mm, yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, okay, so that's fair. Like there's some aspects of that that aren't as cool, but just for me getting uh, almost like a charcuterie or whatever, like a bunch right. of little like samplings of these different studios. Uh, again, I think my ultimate hope here as a Star Wars fan is like, this is a, cause I even get, um, the manga adaptations of some of my favorite Star Wars books, like they did Lost Stars in manga. And like, dude, the I just love the the Japanese lines and, and the motion, the fluidity that they put in those panels with Star Wars. It's such a cool mix. So to have one more element for me that's just a little niche kind of Star Wars thing, awesome. But I like the the real sweaty in me is like, bro, hopefully they do something here that inspires somebody to do something wild in the future star wars like that's really what i'm looking for is like something here inspires some creator to do something in live action that and then we look back and we're like dude that was from visions like that was that crazy thing from Preston makes a good so, point here he says the best received will get the full series nod maybe hey why not why not or get that person to do a full movie or a show or something you know what yeah, i mean yeah, like yeah, yeah i would i would be absolutely uh totally okay with that and you would have to wonder if these people would be willing to um, come into the canon. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like that, again, that's a really respect thing over there, right? Like letting these masters, these directors in these studios kind of do their thing. I don't know if they would ever like do a full series order that's canon and work with Dave. You know what I mean? Like that. Oh, dude, I, I bet you Dave is probably very hands on with this, especially with his avatar background. So I bet he's definitely involved but i the separate it, again i just think the separate studios are developing i'm sure dave is looking at stuff but i don't even know if he's giving input to be honest like just because it's that's the whole thing is like it's not canon so they can do kind of whatever they want you know what i mean mm -hmm. i agree with that uh and by the way someone asked uh what what did i do on my gaming channel um they want to start a gaming channel I, I don't know dude my gaming channel is not very successful so I, I just go in there and live stream whatever i feel like gaming that's it yeah man just doing the game and having that fun you guys yeah. remember fun in your life that's kind of what i did with every channel it just yeah that's it um yeah so it apparently it's not canon no didn't know yeah. that and, and honestly i don't care because i go my by my head canon at this point yeah, so. well, there's no reason that, like, if one of these stories really connects with you, there's no reason that you can't consider it canon or, or, or just have that story exist in your pantheon of stories for Star Wars. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's a pretty bold thing, man, for them to move around and kind of break that promise they made because they didn't really even, they weren't even really able to keep that promise of like everything's canon. And it really did help or uh, hurt the the ability for at least like games and, and certain other awesome things like that to exist so right. th this is a good this is a good sign i'm super comfortable with um with this coming out and it's funny too because it comes on the heels of some news like if we look up here there's this news that uh patty jenkins was talking about uh working on star wars and she's saying that it was like tough because you have to know how all this stuff ties together, right? So she says, like, it's going to be amazing. I've already been on it for six months before it's even announced that. So we're pretty deep into it. We finished the script. 
uh, crewing up and it's all going wonderful. I'm so excited about the story and excited about the next chapter of Star Wars, which is such a responsibility and such an opportunity uh, to start some new things. It's really in an exciting way. And then when asked about like, how is it to work with Lucasfilm, she says, it's an entirely different way of working. I'm on the phone with all of them and doing Zoom meetings with everybody involved in Star Wars all the time. I'm fairly free to do the story that we want to do, but you really need to know who's done what and who's doing what, where it goes and how it works and what designs have been done before. It's a whole other way of working that I'm getting up to speed on. So just talking about like the sort of stringent factors of working within the Star Wars canon, and we love it, and it's hard, and it's challenging, but at the same Sounds time... Sounds like she's taking it seriously, which is good. Oh, yeah, no, dude, Patty's, Patty's a real one, in my opinion. Like, I'm I'm quite excited for her for her film. I don't know but... what to think about Leslie still at this point. Yeah, I am i don't really know what to think about Leslie either, and it seems like after that other article surfaced, they did a little damage control, and they were trying to sort of promote the idea that she was taking from... Uh, phantom menace right like this article here yeah wait wait so wait. yeah so if you check this out like this was like a little bit after um the article came out about the person oh, that really? didn't know any star wars yeah and so it's like she's literally talking about the profound effect that phantom menace had on her here um but just kind of interesting i mean it's coming through the rap hollywood trade it's, it's like you know it, 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 i don't want to say necessarily completely damage control oh, no i think i read this one <clears throat> it was like right right after the day after what right okay yeah probably yeah uh, i go down is that uh, i it's 18 oh wait go up go up go up, go up, go up. uh it's an instagram actually when you say that that way you're right a lot of people have asked me that i've kind of given different answers to but when you phrase it that way i do wonder why people asking me that like why aren't they asking disney that question what question I don't even know where are you where are you at. As the first queer woman to run a Star Wars series, Headland has been asked a lot about being the first queer woman to run yeah. a Star Wars series. So the rap asked Headland if the fact, the question itself regarding the pressure and honor that comes with being the first. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This title. is kind of what this is kind of what I was pointing at the other day, where I was like, it's even absurd that she's even being asked that question like that. Like, in what does some it have ways, to do with anything? Well, that's it's this was clearly, in my opinion, this was already news out there that she had been asked this several, several times. So the rap is not just repeating the question. They're asking her about the question that she keeps getting asked. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I wonder why she would be asked that constantly. That's strange. Well, she's asked that because it's going to produce clicks. Like basically like all these sites know it's going to trigger certain people and then certain people are going to applaud it and then trigger other people. It's, it's, it's a big trigger fest. You know what I mean? Like they're just trying to get clicks in my opinion. That's what mostly I'd like is. to one day live in a world where sexual preference is not important. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. No, like, I mean, I, what do I, what do I care? I don't, it's not my business, you know? Yeah, I mean, frankly, like, I don't really care either. I know for some people it's a, a big deal, and that's totally cool. You know what I mean? I have zero problems with that. But ultimately, my thing has been more like it never really mattered to a lot of other characters. Like, I guess the way I saw it was it was never really a part of their identity. Like, they would never, like, talk about it in a way that was relevant to the story but yeah, uh right. you know you're, that's just you're, that's... You're, you're human so uh, you know what do i care what you do in your private life or what your preference is or where you come from or like i don't it's just yeah. so bizarre to me well yeah and it tends to be i mean i think the point of the raps question is that it tends to be sort of used in a kind of a patronizing way you know what i mean where it's like used as more of like a talking point than even someone's real experience like i don't even think leslie's down for talking about it as much as she's being asked. I think she finds it a strange as well, a strange question. I'm sure she does. Like, yeah. Why does this matter? Like, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure she does. She's more, uh, she's probably just more pumped to write Star Wars, which yeah, I would say anybody would be, regardless of, you know, who or how they love, you know what I mean? So, yeah, just interesting, interesting stuff out there. But I will say, it's not just the fact that, I mean, like, Leslie has a rep, right? And there's, like, a whole sort of is she gonna wokeify the show or whatever there's there there's that discussion but frankly i don't even think that's the the why? real why would you, is she known to do that 
Well, it's just a narrative that's been created. I don't know how okay. much that's actually true or not. You know what I mean? Like people find little clips where she says like women rock and then they're like, oh, she's going to woke a fire or whatever. So it, I don't know what to exactly believe. I haven't looked into it that <laughs> much, but I'll say that like beyond that, I think there's fair reasons to be concerned about the show. I mean, it's touching and the high Republic dark side you know she's got a writer that doesn't know anything about star wars so like there's yeah, that's my, reason. Concern. my concern isn't whether she you know what what she does in her personal life or what her sexual preference is or or uh if she thinks women rock or not which they do uh, yeah. i don't like but so do men men rock too so it's like i don't my concern Those, is her hiring someone who's never seen star wars before that, that was my i was like what yeah why no why do you have 100%. to do that Hundred percent, and it does kind of feel like, in some ways, though, that they were kind of fishing, right? Like they're kind of fishing for something to report about it to get people upset, though. Like you know what I mean? Because that honestly, a writer's room, to be to be honest, like a writer's room, having somebody that's not super familiar with the property, that's not necessarily abnormal. And I think even in that article, they talk about how that person was calling Leslie before the first writers meeting talking about luke and leia being brother and sister so it's not like she wasn't watching she just hadn't before and was currently going through it as she went to write so i don't know probably much to yeah, do about right. nothing it, it's, but, it's uh, very common for sure but yeah. uh, i don't think it should be common with star wars i think you know you gotta have a room full of sweaties in there yeah i mean i'll tell you this it's definitely not something they should like stand behind like i don't know why you would say that and be like pumped about it either you know what i mean like yeah. that doesn't seem doesn't seem like something to be like to stand behind again though it's hard to say like did she bring that up was the interviewer fishing for it man you know what i mean it's it's yeah it's it's, it's hard to say bro like we live in that clickbaity world right where it's just like what's really going on i'm not i'm not 100 percent. i'm sorry she has to go through those stupid questions yeah but you know it is what it is i i still think that uh the show could be dope and i'll tell you this if the show's like freaking awesome as heck like dude i'm gonna love it i'm gonna praise her i'm gonna hope she does more star wars that's what it's about right so if mm -hmm. she can bring the heat then uh i'm down to stand in the kitchen so to speak okay uncle josh right. anime show canon by the way anime show is not canon actually we just went over that. It's not canon, um, which people have mixed feelings about. You can let us know, Jar Pie, what you think about that. But uh, yeah, no, it is It is not canon. That's not to say that, because I think they had the option to use established characters. So it's technically possible that like a Vader or somebody shows up. But that, I think, again, would really establish that it's not canon. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. if, if they have a Palpatine thing, dude, that ain't canon, bro. You know what I mean? Although I guess Disney just brings Palpatine whenever they want anyway. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, just bring him back. Just bring when him all, back. all else fails, we don't know what to do. Just bring him back. Break glass in case of needing Palpatine. Yeah, I wasn't too happy about that. I was I happy in the beginning. Cool. I thought it would have been really badass. And then... It could have been cool. It yeah, could it have like... been way cooler than not explaining it and then retconning it over and over again in comics and books that yeah. was lame which one days we live in a world of sexuality doesn't matter because it's no one's business god you're lucky you don't live in the u.s it's literally a point system here i love america but yeah the the it just seems like everyone's very 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 into politics and um yeah i don't care yeah, I think that uh, the thing with that for me that's been helpful is like I just try to live the way I would want like other people to live, I guess, like that sort like golden rule thing where like, for instance, I follow some people that maybe some of the people that follow me are like, I don't like that he follows that person or likes their tweets or whatever. Uh, and then when I see drama happening, I usually try not to get into it. I made this joke the other day where. Every time I delete a petty retweet, I get a plus one to well-being for the rest of the day. And it's really the truth, man. Like, you know, as much as I can remove myself from that kind of stuff, uh, I find it not only better for me, but I'm more able to deal with other people's crap on it. You know what I mean? Right. But it's true. It's taken over. It's taken over. Um, are you going to New York Comic Con? I believe I am. Yeah, I believe I am. Yeah, we're trying to make the plans for it, but uh, we should be we should be all set for that for sure. Um, yeah, you're gonna try to make it uh, make it across the the border. When is it? October, I believe. No, I don't think I'll be able to make it. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. 
mm, theory gotta come to America. Have I, you heard of this country, I America? I would love to. Down here, we we wear funny I, hats and fake beards and stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, yeah. I've been there many times. I we have good there. time down here. We got all the flavors of pop tarts. You guys don't have any flavors of pop tarts up there. We, we have several. Cold. We don't several. We don't have all, we, as many yeah, as we've got dozens. You got we've more got Oreo dozens. flavors than we do. We got more flavor. Like that's the one thing you cannot you cannot say America does not have an abundance of ridiculous options when it comes to food. A lot food. of sweets. A lot of sweets. A lot of different kind of foods. Did you hear about the show sure. where it talked about the Phantom Menace being her main source of inspiration? Yeah, we were just talking about that a little bit. It's in it's in that article where she's talking about like how did they we get here and all this stuff when it comes to the uh the Sith and the rule of two. So yeah, no, I think that's uh that's cool. In the new purge movie, it has Americans fleeing to Canada and Mexico. There's a new purge movie? Yeah, the Forever Purge. Sort of when's that? Here. When's that coming out? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> I, I want to watch know. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not my Star Wars YouTuber says Clone Wars isn't canon. It's what? treason, man. Um, hey, Star Wars Theory, will Lucasfilm ever make a production that will take place after the rise of Skywalker? They could explore more of the galaxy. Most probably. Yeah, most probably. It would be wild if they did not. I assume. I, I can't imagine them not. I mean, that would be so bananas. Like, what if they just never visited? They just never after it? touch it. And it's, yeah. it's just they just kept going back and back and back. Yeah, dude, how would people feel about that? I don't care if Dave and John are running it. That's what I'm saying. Live forever in the Dave and John Mandoverse. Yeah, I don't Yo, care, man. Did you hear what Rodriguez said about uh, Book of Boba? I have a I have a video coming out about this, but he said, no. "Dude, oh well, no, actually, it was a stunt coordinator that was on a podcast. He said." It's so much more gritty than Mandalorian, and it's like all killer, no filler. So like no like filler. Let's go hang out with Frog Lady in the sauna. Even though I love that episode, I love it. But like just a totally different kind of pace. It actually reminded me a little of the uh, the visions thing, where it's like, dude, bring somebody else in that's really good and creative that has a different vision. Because Rodriguez has that different vision for Boba, that John Wick, really kind of gritty, like cowboy thing. I can't wait, bro. I cannot wait. If we trust Filoni as a creative director, we should extend Lucasfilm the trust regarding Leslie Headland. Her last with Amy Poehler show was good. I've never seen any of her work, I don't think. But look, dude, I think I'm one of the only vocal people on YouTube besides Josh that's excited about this show. Are yeah, for sure. No, I'm really, I'm really excited about the show. Yeah, dude, yeah Accolade. I'm, let's go. I'm very pumped for it. But if I can nitpick, then I will. And, and make content around something that she said that I felt was strange. Why wouldn't I? 100%. I mean, it's uh, like, honestly, it's it's a thing like it is a thing it's what people are talking about it's what's trending like and that's what y'all are clicking on all day anyway so shut your mouth when you're talking to me basically thoughts on ahsoka like the show i'm very excited for it we... yeah man that's dave's my number, baby number one is kenobi show numero <sighs> gotta be and dude yes that's going to be sick. Can't wait till we get more updates on that. I'm worried about that. Like, Dad, don't be, man. Look, if it comes out and it's trash, best believe Josh and I will have something to say. But oh, I, for think sure. it's, I think it's going to be good. I, I hope, you know? Yeah. I'm going to be very, very um, analytical when it does come out, of course. I'm a Star Wars fan. What else? Yeah, what else man. There's a lot that could go wrong, but we won't know until we see it. Always. Kenobi! <laughs> What's up, Wendy? Some people are saying that Rogue Squadron may be set after episode nine. That'd be kind of interesting. And then is Rangers actually canceled? Because I saw it on the it is, website. Yeah, it has been taken off of production. That does not mean they won't revisit it, but I'm kind of get the feeling, nah, fam. You know what else is really done. weird? Bro, you know what else is really weird? And I I don't know. I didn't actually even want to bring this up because it'll cause everybody to freak out. But um, there's a big going back and forth about uh, Mandalorian season three. There were a lot of people saying that because of The Last of Us, Pedro is filming 
for the whole rest of the year. He will not. He is literally contractually obligated to be on set for the rest of the year and will not be available until 2022. Now, someone else came out and rebutted that by saying like, and they have a sheet that says that Mando season two is said to start filming, I think, September 20th. Let me see if I can find this again. Uh, let me see. Here. Maybe season three. Yeah, season three will start filming Monday, September 20th. And he has documentation. So he's got actual documentation from the LLC. Um, but it this according to this this dude over here, he's literally saying that uh Pedro will not be able to film until 2022. So it's one of those things where it's interesting. Are they just gonna ADR? Just replace him, Pedro. Yeah. I mean, they could probably just ADR him. Like, this is the thing that I always thought was weird about that controversy. Like, if it was real, what's Pedro complaining about, dude? He has to come in and record some lines in a little foam closet, get paid a bajillion dollars, get known as the Mandalorian, get to go to Comic Cons for the rest of his life, and yeah. he doesn't have to be there. He lets three other dudes do all the acting for him. Who cares? That's what I've always thought. I was like, who cares, bro? He doesn't do any of the acting. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he's in no, no, he does now. But in season one, he really wasn't there often. And that was the whole thing was that he wanted to be there more in season two. But the whole issue was he wanted to be there. But then he was like, I need the helmet off more. I want to be seen as an actor, which I understand. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. But again, like, bro, you got to play ball with the show. That's the show. It makes sense. But you're this show isn't for your uh, career. This show is for the stores, so bro. Star like Wars, yeah, so much bigger than you, Pedro Pascal. Like, and yeah. we don't again. There's, you know, who knows exactly how crazy that that whole thing was, but it's possible you're gonna get a season three with uh, a small amount of work done by Pedro, perhaps at the very early parts of 2022, to make uh, a summer or next year's Christmas release for season three. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look, I mean, he's doing his thing. He's doing his other show, and that was his decision. And you know. Obviously, I guess the money was more, perhaps, or he felt it was better for his career. Whatever. Um, yeah. So, but he, but so find someone else. Like, what's, what's I do wrong? wonder what he got paid for The Last of Us. I mean, I'm sure what studio's making is it HBO because it's a big deal, whatever it is. You know what I mean? I don't know, dude. I don't know why they chose him to be Joel. It's HBO. So, yeah, they're doing big, that's a big budget. I never would have seen him as Joel. I would have seen um, like Hugh Jackman as Joel. Pedro can be grittier, you know what I mean? I think we're used to seeing him, uh, well, not much at all in Mando, but then with the, the baby face, and then he's, uh, you know, Oberyn Martell is in a lot of people's memories, but uh, he can be definitely more gritty, man. There was that film with Ben Affleck that he shot on Netflix. I forget, it was all about, like, one last job, and they're, like, stealing all this money from drug dealers down in Mexico. Mm. Bro, that 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 movie was awesome. Pedro was, was great in that. What movie was that? Um, I'll watch that tonight. I forget what it was Sounds called, good. man. It was something Frontier or something. It was. Let me look it up. Burn. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just saying, if there's going to be drama around it, like don't push push the show off and just triple Frontier. That's what dude yeah, it has. Charlie place. Hunnan, Oscar Isaac, Pedro. Dude, it's like a who's who. It's like almost like a like the Expendables, like but like expend some, I was just gonna say, yeah, 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 yeah. It's really cool. Uh, yes, Josh, the show Patty is doing is set to take place after the sequels, letting us some... What? He's talking about Rogue Squadron, the movie. Ah. Oh, after Oof. episode nine. I don't know. Let me stroke my beard and think about that Star Wars obsession. He's always so supportive, man. He's always here. Oh, yeah, man. He's a true... He's a real one. And he also yeah. got... Uh, I think he was one of the people that hooked X-Wing up with some of his stuff. Really? I think so, unless I'm mixing people up. Bro, what's with X Men getting all the hookups, man? Where are our hookups? I got no hookups. I'm sitting over here. No, all I got left to my up? name. Who? Us. True. Ourselves. True. true. Yo, I saw your uh, uh, I saw your saber thing on Insta. The new design with the the breathing crystal looks pretty cool, man. That's not my saber. Well, oh really? But that's the idea, right? That you guys want to do? No, we're no, we're no, no, no. Oh. Now, when we sent the design to the to the manufacturer, he's like, this is the most intricate, crazy saber design I've ever seen. And that's why it's taking so long because they're like trying to figure out how they're going to make this. Mm. Which brings the price up of each. Sure. Yeah. More double. 
sure. for us yeah, our cost. So we, yeah. Yeah. That's a tough one. Yeah, I just Hopefully got the they... phone with Mark like about an hour ago. And okay. We were just talking with China a little earlier and um mm. yeah, the guy who owns the factory there, he's actually Canadian. It's cool. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So working with one of my boys. That is dope. Well, either way, that looked cool, and I hope that that uh hope you guys can figure that out because that was that was pretty sweet. Oh, oh we're yeah, dude. Uh I'll be sending you one for sure. Mm. Yeah. Can't wait to get it in edition. my hands. Either one of fifty or one of one hundred. Dang. Um, and we'll never make that model again. I'm gonna freaking retire, ladies and gentlemen. You hear that? You hear that? Yeah, dude, you could probably sell that, to be honest. I'm gonna hold it for a long time. Maybe yeah, my kids will sell bit. it. Maybe my kids will sell it. You know what I mean? Yeah, if I'm still relevant. <laughs> dude, it'll be the most relevant. At that point, they'll have a you'll have a whole space station base. At, be at like, that point, I'll probably have like 30 million, 40 million subs. Yeah, and then I'll be like, now's the time to sell. <laughs> now's the time, yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure, bro. Um, Navo, thank you, man. Would you rather interview Filoni or Favreau? Ooh, probably Filoni. <sighs> I would do Filoni for sure, but I'm just such a fanboy of his. You yeah, know what I mean? But I like Favreau, man. Yeah. And I actually did get to ask Dave questions before when he came back to my college, but... Uh, yeah, he went to the same college as me and he came he won an award and he came back and did like this whole big presentation. I have like a signed Dooku figure from him and shit. What? That. Yeah, yeah. You never told cool. me this. Yeah, it was cool, man. He's uh he's a super cool dude, and he was at the time it was just getting into the second season of Clone Wars, so he was giddy with excitement. He wanted to show us more than Disney well, actually at the time, just George would Look let him. Yeah, um, but man, he explains like the way he explained meeting George was hilarious. Like, so he talks about like going in for the meeting with yeah. his freaking portfolio, right? This thing he spent his whole life on, and he's just there. But his attitude of it was, if I, I probably won't get this job, but I'm such a big Star Wars fan, I'm just happy to meet George Lucas, right? And so George, they get into this thing. George like flips through his portfolio in like two seconds, sets it aside, and just goes. Well, uh, here's what Jedi Knights are like. And then just starts like talking about the force and stuff. And Dave is just like in awe, just listening to George talk about the force. He leaves the thing, not thinking much of it. And on the way out, the receptionist tells him, oh, hey, by the way, he liked you. You've got the job. And Dave's just yeah. like, what? <laughs> like, And then his whole life changes from there. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah, pretty cool, man. Do you know he animated on King of the Hill? Yeah. Yeah, he animated on King of the Hill. Yeah. And he joked about that, saying, like, that's about the level of his animation. I <laughs> like hated that King show. It's all right. I never really I got super hated into that, it, that show. Well, Peggy, what's we doing here today? It's, God <laughs> damn, I hate every time that show would come on, I would just flip the screen. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I never really got like into it, into it, but uh, I did like the Dermot Bobbies, you know, all those kind of things. Pretty yeah, cool. I'd like watch it sometimes, and I'm like, I'd, I'd get into it and I'm like, what the hell am I watching, man? Like, what is this? I was like 12 years old. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun stuff. Then he did uh, the Avatar show for a while. Yeah. He was on that for a while, directed a few episodes, got his feet wet on that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Good stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh. All the King of the Hill fans. Oh, oh snap <laughs> it's treason then they're it's like treason then hey sorry man whatever i didn't like it leave me alone i'm allowed <laughs> to not like something will i make vader 2 animated no i will make it live action because that's the way it's got to be i mean i i don't know i could make it animated maybe you can and do it. something else animated you know what i mean i could make it animated and it could be done in probably like a few years instead of. But to be real, things are starting to open up and maybe, you know, maybe by the end of the year, you could be oh, oh, down here in the States making a fun movie, hanging out with your boys. Yeah, Let's get yeah. some jet skis, dude. Lightsaber fight on jet skis. You and me. Hey, I'm down. Yeah. You that'd know, be, uh, that'd be fun. just getting down there and, and, and the, the, protocols and everything um with filming it's 
Yeah, it's a, it's still really really tough. And and go away. I, yeah. I know they're watching. Um, they're sort of watching that the the D version of the bug or whatever, right? So we got to everybody's watching out for that. I I really just. I really hope that uh, we're on the other side of it and then everything you can just totally normalize in the next couple of months. And, and then, yeah, you'd be fine to come down here, man. That'd be dope. That'd be great. Not yeah. criticizing your opinion related to Acolyte. All love for you and Josh. I think there's already a lot of negative environment around the show with minimal information. If it's trash, then we can critique. Love you guys. That's exactly mm -hmm. how I feel. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. for sure. And I think it's going to be great. I've said it a million times. You can find it in different videos. I think it's going to be a really cool show. Oh, dude, you should go to uh, you should go to lower Ontario and just literally jet ski across the lake. So I live in I live in Erie, which is literally on the bay right across from Canada. Kidding? Yeah, dude. Actually, I used to listen to Canadian radio stations when I grew up because you all had a pretty good punk station uh, that I would listen to from London, Ontario. I don't know if you're familiar with London, but I live oh. literally right across from London, Ontario. So just just come on down, man. I'll meet you in the middle of the Great Lakes on jet skis. And then we'll get you. We'll get you down here. I'm just. I'm just kidding, government. I would. I would never do that. But you know, we'll talk later. That'd be fun. Everything good there? You getting a yeah. message from Lord Vader? I just had to take care of something. Um, do you think Filoni, Feige, Waldron, etc., eat popcorn and see? What theories and speculation pops up on YouTube? Is Dave watching right now? <laughs> I probably not watching right you now. No. That they do not watch me or any YouTube. Like I don't think they have time for that crap. I know they're out making the real thing. You know. Yeah. So I know that it. What I heard was that they did watch a few videos, one of them being mine, but it was only because of a leak from Mando, and they were really nervous about that leak getting out there. It was the week of the Grogu episode, and uh, I remember because there were only two channels that were making videos about that at the time, and one was uh, my buddy Paul from Heavy Spoilers, and then I made some videos and streams about it, and we heard through some people from disney in their pr department that uh, yes they had watched those episodes those videos but only because of the leaks it's not like they watch our channels they were just like somebody yeah. told them oh somebody leaked this episode here's videos on youtube talking about it which is awkward for me because i was like i didn't necessarily want to be known to them as that that guy you know what i mean but it is what it is i see yeah, I, I don't. I don't think they watch any YouTubers. Actually, I mean, I'm no. like, I bet those Feige guys are does, so though. insanely bet, busy and and doing yeah. the real deal thing. It's like, <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. I would tell you that I I don't think Feige like sits there and watches a bunch of YouTube videos, but I think that from what I because he said something in an interview recently where he's like, we watch the social response, so he's probably like going through Twitter, watching a few YouTube videos. Like I'm sure he is. Like, like wouldn't you like even if you were the biggest of the big, right? You drop this new dope show like Loki, right? Don't mm. you think you would check out some videos of what people were saying about it? You know I what would. I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. want to know. I'd want. I bet know they do. I don't think they think watch. about my thing. But they probably do check out some content around their shows just because they want to know. Like, uh, I, I I know a dude that said he was on a flight with J.J. Abrams one time. Not to totally trash J.J. I'm sure he's a fine dude or whatever. But uh, this dude said he was on like a four-hour flight with J.J. And J.J. just literally searched his name on Twitter and Instagram the whole flight. And just literally read what people were saying about him the entire flight. That could be a little bit of hyperbole. But... Uh, Hey man, we're all human. We're all probably a little self-absorbed, so I can imagine them uh, them checking that out. Yeah, whatever. That'd be cool. And if you're watching JJ, you should have done better, bro. <laughs> They're not watching, dude. <laughs> we <laughs> don't even watch other YouTubers, let alone. I know that's true. I barely even watch. I don't really watch myself. I no. watch. A, yeah, yeah. It's, it Didn't you say nice. Mando three already wrapped? No. Okay. So okay. So that's so Dever. This is a good. This is actually a very good point. I never said that Mando three wrapped. Somebody else reported that Mando three wrapped. When we covered that, I was tried to be very clear about this. It was a uh, what what they call a developing story because originally what happened was people were saying Mando has is not coming out for a long long time. 
Then I believe, and I got to go doc, double check the, the the record, but I believe it was either Jordan Mason or somebody else that's a that's a pretty reliable scooper came out and said, "Oh, I heard that not only has it uh, that they are filming, but that it is actually wrapped." But remember when he reported that he was like, "I'm not saying it's that for sure. It could be this other thing." Now, actually, the very next day, Collider ran a report saying, "No way, definitely not Mando season three." absolutely did not happen it is not filming um so we don't think it's filming no the, uh, like the, as, according to the more reputable reports it is not filming so mm. until until further notice i think that's that's kind of where i'm at with it is i don't think it's filming i think that book of boba is going to have so many people from mando that you could just call it mando 2.5 low people's minds i don't think anyone's really ready for it yeah man i'm kind of in that same boat i think it's gonna do i think it's gonna be crazy. mando finale through the whole show though like i think it's gonna be yeah bonkers yeah which would be awesome it would totally make sense what a great way to set us up for the coming filoni verse stuff than to just be like oh yeah you thought that dope boba show was just gonna be a fun boba ride here's everybody that is a part of the universe all tied together the big bad all this crazy stuff i'm here for it all yeah. killer no filler indeed mm. sounds like insecurity uh no man i just don't it's not insecure I'm, i just don't think that they watch us it's that's it. Yeah, I think I, I don't think we're hot shit. That they, uh, the official people, who are making the thing that we have a career speaking about, making content about, are sitting around, you know, on their phones, seeing what we have to say. If I were in their position, uh, I don't think I'd be doing that. No, I, I probably wouldn't follow specific creators but as i said i would probably check out just sort of a variety of stuff after one of my episodes dropped i'd be like okay let's see what a few youtubers were saying about it let's see what's in the yeah. comments let's see you know what i mean that kind of thing yeah but who knows yeah only i don't think they like me very much that's what i'm I don't, that's what i'm trying to say well I'm jj looking on twitter oh okay Perhaps, yeah. I mean, he's just human, man. I mean, don't you look at your own likes, like to see who liked your Insta and stuff like that? You know, just that's just a human thing, you know. No, I don't see who liked it. I look at the number because it's there, it's yeah, in my face. I'm like, oh, okay, people like that. Nice. Yeah, I think it's a pretty common thing for people to look at who liked their vids. You know what I mean, or who liked their posts. I think it's just a pretty human. It's a human part of social. I, I would say, uh, I'd say that's that's pretty. Uh, pretty standard so when are we gonna start doing tiktok stuff man you and me tiktok you want to do tiktok stuff together dude yeah you're, you gotta do you're some slaying. funny stuff you're already slaying on tiktok no I, I wasn't dude I, I haven't i've not been uploading and then all of a sudden i'm just like you know what i think i'm gonna grow my tiktok nice. and in the last five days i've been yeah i think i jumped like fifteen thousand. In just Dang, a few days. Yeah, just nice, keep going. bro. Uh, I mean, I'd be down to try some TikTok stuff. I don't know. It feels a little, it's a little foreign to me still. You know, like I, I, I get it. And it Dude, I, really I think I know it now. Fun, I think but... I get it now. You can just be an idiot. Like, just do what you want. Like, <laughs> say what you want. Do what you want. Make stupid yeah. little skits. It's fun. This is like the perfect platform for just chilling. I love it. Yeah, I love it. GTA right season twenty twenty five. Any info on it? Oh, dude, I wish. No info on GTA, bro. Oh, yeah, I don't no. go on Twitter. F that. Yeah, Twitter, it, it can be really engaging, but, man, is it just full of awfulness. It's just full of awfulness. You really got to, like, put on gloves when you're on Twitter, like, for real. Ah, just go in there, tweet my thing if I need to promote something, and then, you know, just let let my followers know, the ones who are interested, and that's it. Yeah, yeah Everyone yeah. else that isn't, well, they're not interested. I don't have interest in what they have to say. What's up, Star Wars Funko? Happy birthday, man. Scotland. Scotland. I'd love to see. Did Scotland would be cool to see? Might be a little cold. But it would right be now. cool. Really? No, not right now. Not right if now. Dave is watching they... anyone, it'd be you. Three million subs. I don't know. Dave would As probably I said, have I, seen I don't... some of your stuff, for sure. I... You know what? I hope that he saw my... Um... Vader episode two cinematic that I dedicated to him and George. 
Yeah. That would have been nice. That would be nice for sure. No, I've never been contacted by anyone there. Um, I mean, I reached out for my fan film for the legalities of it so they wouldn't step on their toes and stuff. But Mm. beyond that, um, Celebration sent me some merch, you know, so that I would um, show their products on my platform. I mean, but but then the Pablo thing happened like literally a week after that. And then I was like, well, that's that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Yeah, that's it. Hey, man, so, but, you know, you got to ride or die, man. You know what I mean? Like, dude, that I, I stay true, man. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, sure. I never will. But yeah, that shit was ridiculous. It sometimes still takes me a lot when I see like a mutual like sharing a Pablo thing. It takes a lot for me not to just like again, like retweet it and be petty or whatever. But I know people mm. enjoy his stuff and his tweets or whatever. So who am I to yuck other people's yum? But like, yeah, I just legitimately don't think he's a very chill dude. Okay. Claudia nice. Gray, Claudia me Gray back. follow me back. That's cool. dope. Claudia Gray's cool, man. Claudia Gray's a good writer. I what quite enjoy on the her. game channel. Everything except Halo with your boy. We mean I played Halo like, literally yesterday. Oh well, shit. Okay, jo- no, I've been asking. I've been asking Josh to game with me for over a year. All of a sudden, he gets like a gaming PC. I don't know what you did, and then he's like. Hey, why aren't you gaming with me, man? Yeah, bro. What Jeez. the hell, dude? Yeah, and then I forgot to reply, and you were all like, I know, I got sad. so butt hurt. Dude, yeah, you know, all right, bro. Dude, it was funny because I like made a scene, like I stomped on the ground and everything. And then literally like 50 people were like, bro, you would never get back to me. And then I started like looking through all my stuff and I was like, ooh, <laughs> I'm real bad at getting a hold of people and getting back to people. Yeah, so. and then and then Vito came on the channel. He's like, You hurt Josh's feelings nice dude i mean you did you, you did a little Sorry. bit but i was just drama drama king about it um but uh yeah that's funny see they, there is they, <laughs> josh got butt hurt i know they love razzing me i mean it is true i did get a little butt hurt but okay well let's dude every night i play cod and then during yeah. the day i'll stream another game dope okay well maybe i can catch you in an afternoon stream or even uh friday so i've been doing friday streams uh and i play with a lot of the uh members and nerd vengers um we usually start with some halo and then that knockout city game's been really really fun i don't know if anybody's feeling that dude that dodgeball game's sick bro i'm telling you it's really cool yeah i should play um, with you um it's fun well, just imagine this once the uh once the thing comes out the the ubisoft game mm-hmm. we've been mm-hmm. playing that every day Oh on yeah, rule of two. Oh, I'm down, dude. With the like community. that. We have to I'm... create like a massive clan. Yeah. Oh heck yeah, bro. I'm all about it. Um, I'm I'm down with that. And then there's even a new thing coming out for the MMO, bro. There's a new. Uh, they leaked something, and it's like a big update about the Sith for the Star Wars MMO. I've mm. been thinking about it. I was like, you know, I like that game. They did some new um some new legacy update to the to the class system so if it's like a little bit more engaging in the combat because that's one of the problems for me was it's so old that turn-based stuff isn't that great right um but if they address that i'm i'm down to clown for sure yeah let's do it what the hell is going on with the lego star wars game yeah still no updates still no updates on it from what i've heard so uh, Star Wars Obsession, nah, I don't really want to play Squadrons. Yeah, that's another thing. People were hitting me up about that. that. Even X Wing. Yeah, it's look, it's fun, and I do like playing it on the joysticks or whatever. But th- they just didn't do enough to support the game competitively, in my opinion. Like if they had made it more interesting, had a lot more customizations, custom matches, all those sort of things. Yeah. Right. I don't think UV game will be an MMORPG. Really? I don't know too much about it. I, I think it will. I hope. I hope so too. Thanks, Gavin. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you have anything else to say, Josh? It's been an hour. No, man. I mean, again, just pump for visions. Uh, very excited about that anime influence. Love, love the the Japanese art, and uh, very excited for that. It's a good time to be a Star Wars fan. I think Bad Batch is cool. It's been a little, you know, slowish, but I think it's round in the well, bed for really it. cool stuff. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Last week's episode for me was like, all right, you know, that's all right, all right. I liked so, last week's. It was good. Yeah, I thought it was all right. right. 
<laughs> All right, I feel you. I feel you. But I mean, hey, look, it's cool. It's not like it's bad. It's definitely not bad. It's not like the Martez sisters are going to show up again, are they, Theory? <laughs> Probably, dude. Green Summit, two favorite nerds. Definitely digging the style of Vision, something new and fresh. I agree. We Heck should do yeah, watch bro. parties, you and me. Dude, I'd be Vision. actually that's a great idea because it's a bingeable show, bro. We could do we a nice watch all big of them? stream. That's you what I'm me? saying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah,